Good morning, everybody. My name's Reverend Sue, and I'm here to tell you a story about a time when Jesus and his friends were very afraid. There's going to be some joining in in this assembly, so we'll begin by joining in saying good morning or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. I'm going to say good morning to you again. Good morning, everyone. And I can imagine you replying. I'm going to light the candle for our assembly. This candle, as it burns, reminds me that Jesus, the light of the world, is always with us. Can you see this wonderful painting of a wave behind me? It's enormous and it always makes me feel really rather small. And sometimes, especially if I imagine myself under the surf just there, really rather scared. When it's stormy, we often feel frightened. Storms are pretty noisy. I'm going to ask you to join in with a few noises for the story. So I'm going to tell you the story noises now. First of all, there's the wind that goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then there's the rain that starts softly and gets louder and louder and louder. And sometimes there's a crash of thunder. Can you remember those? The whooshing of the wind, the rain that begins to pitter pat and becomes a storm with thunder. Well done. Listen out for those during the story and do the noises along with you if your teachers would like you to do that. I'm reading this story from a lovely book called The Lion Children's Storybook Bible, Storyteller Bible. It was a perfect day. The sky was blue and the lake was blue too. A gentle breeze whipped the waves white and foamy. Jesus sat at the side of the lake and talked to the people about God. God is your father, he said. He dresses the flowers in beautiful colours. He makes sure the birds have enough to eat. But you are his sons and daughters. Remember, he can clothe and feed you as well. So trust him and stop worrying your lives away. When Jesus had finished teaching, he was really tired. So he called his closest friends and together they piled into a boat and set off across the lake for home. Jesus yawned and stretched. He laid his head down and very quickly he was asleep with the rhythm of the waves and as the boat rocked, Jesus slept. It was the perfect end to a lovely day. And then suddenly the day was not so perfect. The sky turned dark and the sea turned dark as well. And a wild wind stirred the waves up. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The boat rocked to the right and it rocked to the left. It went up and down. The boat rocked so hard that Jesus' friends could not understand how he stayed asleep. And they were sure they would all drown. And the rain began. And the thunder crashed. Jesus slept right through it, apart from the odd snore. Jesus, Peter called at last. Jesus, wake up. So Jesus woke. He sat up. He rubbed his eyes. It was all anybody else could do to stay on their feet, but Jesus stood right up. He held out his hand and said to the wind, quiet now, and to the waves, settle down. And do you know, they did. Then Jesus turned to his friends and said, you didn't need to be so frightened. You didn't have to worry. All you needed to do was to trust me. See, everything's calm now. 
And so it was. The sky was blue, the water of the lake was blue, and the little waves splashed happily against the boat. It was a perfect day again. Storms are funny things the way that they can come and go. And sometimes there are storms inside us as well as the storms that beat down with rain and wind outside us. Storms inside are hard to see and sometimes they're hard to talk about as well. So we're lucky if we have friends and people in school and at home that we can talk about, about the storms that are going on inside and about when we're frightened of things like stormy weather outside. It's always good to talk. Just like the disciples woke Jesus up to tell him how frightened they were. But it's also true that sometimes if there's a time when there's not somebody to talk to and we're waiting for that person to come back, that we can imagine Jesus walking beside us, saying quietly to us, settle down. You don't need to be afraid. Quiet now. Settle down. Let me walk beside you. Let me hold your hand and don't be afraid anymore. Let's have a prayer now. I want you to get ready to pray by putting your hands together like this or by opening your hands. You might want to close your eyes or you might want to gaze on the candle in the picture or even gaze at that amazing big wave. Dear God, thank you for all the people who are there to help us when we are afraid by things that are outside of us or fearful of things that are inside us. We thank you for our good friends our teachers and the people that we live with, for anyone that we trust to talk to. Help us to talk about the things that are difficult and help us in the times when we're waiting to talk, to take the hand of Jesus and ask him to walk alongside us. Amen. Jesus reminded the people he was listening to that all that God loves all his sons and daughters and all God's children across the world say a prayer that Jesus taught them. Let's say it together now if you know it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for having me to share this assembly with you. It's been lovely to read a story and to say a prayer and I hope to see you again soon either on a screen or even better when it's when it's the right time to pay a visit to school. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. God bless you.